Hey, welcome to Mama Salama. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications of when we post new videos. Welcome to Mama Salama. Today we are reading Never Let a Unicorn Scribble. Let's go. Never Let a Unicorn Scribble. Written and illustrated by Diane Elber. I recently got a pet unicorn. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And everyone keeps telling me, never let a unicorn scribble. Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, unicorns can run on rainbows, so why can't they scribble? I thought if I gave her just one crayon, what could go wrong? Well, I'll tell you, she ate it. Now my favorite bright pink crayon was traveling to the belly of my unicorn. This was probably why people are saying unicorns should never scribble because they eat crayons. Then it occurred to me, maybe unicorns don't know how to use crayons. So I gathered all my crayons and started to scribble. I made a blue scribble, a pink scribble, a yellow scribble, and even a crazy scribble. Now that she could see how crayons worked, I thought I could give her another chance to scribble. I took out a teal crayon and placed it right in front of her. And she ate half of it! Listen to me, unicorn. We do not eat crayons. We draw with them. But then I realized a unicorn couldn't hold a crayon like I could. Maybe that was why she was eating them. I had an idea. Maybe if I tied a few crayons to her horn, that would help her scribble. Within seconds, glitter scribbles started shooting out like water from a fire hose. Sparkling rainbow scribbles were everywhere. They were on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls. They were even on my lamp. I've been begging my mom to redecorate my room for a while now, but I don't think this is what she had in mind. Then I heard a noise down the hall. That was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. I popped out of my room and blocked the door before my mom could say anything. I started to explain the mess she was about to see. Well, it all started when I heard to never let a unicorn scribble, but I had to find out why. So I gave her my unicorn a crayon and then she ate it. And then I tried to teach her to scribble, but then she ate another crayon. So I tied the crayons to her horn and boy, was that horn magical. The scribble started shooting out like water fountain and they were so sparkly, but it made such a mess and I, I'm sorry. My mom peeked around the corner and smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made a glowing masterpiece. When I turned around, all the scribbles were right on my easel. Not on the ceiling, not on the walls, not on my lamp. They were all on one big piece of paper, and it was the most amazing art ever. All this time, people wanted to stop unicorns from scribbling. It could be because they eat crayons or because it's so messy. But if my unicorn had never scribbled, she would have never learned how to make this masterpiece. So the next time you hear a unicorn shouldn't scribble, just remember, all great art starts with a scribble. And even unicorns have to start somewhere. The end. My unicorn drew. One, two. Go. Look what my unicorn drew. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos.